What's going on, guys? Drone worship in your face, heading home from work. So my guy finally got back to me with the firmware uh, downgrade that uh, everybody's been looking for, which is the 4.2.8. He copied the version he had on his transmitter and then sent me the download link. And I am going to make that link available to all of you guys who are interested in having 4.2.8, which that we know of, 4.2.8 removes a lot of the height and distance restrictions, and it also puts out a much stronger 2.4 and 5.8 uh, signal from the TX to the RX. So if any of you guys were wondering or wanted to do this, I am going to make it available for you if you are having range issues, okay? Range and distance issues with FPV or 2.4. Um, here's my disclaimer for all of you. I have no idea what this is going to do individually to each one of your units if you do this. However, as long as you know what firmware you started out with on your controller, you can always put it back on your controller. So here is my disclaimer for all of you. Drone worship is not going to be held responsible for anything that happens to any of your property or anybody else's property, so on and so forth. You are doing this at your own risk. It has nothing to do with me. All I did was supply you with the ability uh, to downgrade so that you can remove the heightened restrictions. That is up to you. Okay? Remember, if you abuse this, this does not have anything to do with me. Or if this does not work for your quadcopter, you can't hold me accountable for any of that. This is me trying to be helpful to all of you. I am going to release 4.2.8. Okay? Because if, if any of you know 4.2.14 and 4.2.13 for the controller came with height and distance restrictions, uh, especially if you're in the U.S., so this is going to be pushed out there for all of you that want to do the antenna modification, okay, and get longer range flights. Now, like I said, I don't know. There's no combat. There's no compatibility chart for this, okay. So if you happen to download this and it doesn't work, and you crank up your hub set and you you hit the throttle and it just takes off to never never land, then guess what, guys? I'm not responsible for that. Okay, I don't know how, what the compatibility components are or what the quad thinks it's going to need or what it should have or if it's going to be problematic for any of the other systems that it, that it operates on. Um, there's only one way to find out. Uh, I need to find a computer with that runs a uh, version 2.0 USB. All the computers in my house run version uh, 3.0 or higher for USB. So I'm having a really hard time doing any modifications to my Hubson because I don't have the right uh, stuff that I need. Apparently I need older computer uh, with version 2.0 to run the firmware tool. Now, your next question is going to be, well, Dan, or drone worship, how do you do this? Okay, that is the question now, isn't it? First, you got to have a computer that runs a 2.0 USB drive, not a 3.0, nothing higher. It's got to be 2.0. Then... <clears throat> you're going to go to the Hubson website and you're going to download the firmware tool, okay, to allow you to install and uninstall firmware. Now, some of you are going to run into this issue here. Your computer doesn't understand Chinese Unicode, and it may not communicate with the TX or the RX at all. Now, once again, this mod is only for the transmitter, okay? It is not a modification for the RX. It is only for the transmitter, Okay? But if your computer doesn't recognize the TX, you're out of luck, man. You need to find a computer, preferably probably an older one, uh, because the older ones ran Chinese Unicode. You can upgrade your newer computers like Windows 10 and stuff, but if you'll notice, a lot of Windows 10 computers don't come with, with uh, Chinese Unicode written into them. So, you gotta download it, you gotta change some computer settings to get the Unicode to activate. Then your computer will start to uh, understand the firmware um, from the uh, uh, transmitter. Sorry, driving, I'm not thinking. I'm trying to think about where I'm going. So just remember, I am not responsible for anything that happens to your Hubson or your toy or your quad or property damage or it, it flies up and smacks you in the face. Not my problem. 
I'm drone worship. I'm just here trying to help everybody get range and distance out of their quad. Okay? It took me a while to track down this 4.2.8, a legitimate version of it to make it available for all of you for download. Okay? I have it. It's going to be in the description below if you guys want that. If you have any questions, get back to me. If I can answer my will, if I can't, I'm going to direct you to the RC forum. Or I'm going to tell you to ask some people on Facebook. I'm not uh, Mr. Know-it-all, okay? I do try to do my best to understand Hubson and how it works and, and the things that go along with Hubson and owning one. And, and I try to try every little variable possible to make it the best toy out there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said toy. It is a toy quad. It is not hobby. Okay? It's nothing. It has redeeming qualities to be a hobby grade uh, bird. Okay? But unfortunately, with all the restrictions and all the stuff and having to modify it to make it a hobby class bird, it is a toy. So, that being said, I'm Drone Worship. This is the range modification and firmware downgrade, or for some of you, maybe upgrade, um, for 4.2.8 for the TX. Drone Worship. I'm out. Toodaloo. Give yourself to the dark side.